Whether you are new to the credit card game or are an expert already, the City Rewards card is an important card to have. So in this video, I'll be doing a full review for the City Rewards card. What it is, how does it work, and how you can maximize the card to its fullest potential. Also, I've recently started a new Telegram chat group in which members can chit chat or ask any questions that they may have. So do join if you are interested. All right, let's start with the basics first. The City Rewards card is a very beginner's friendly card. In order to be eligible for it, if you are Singaporean or PR, all you need is to have an annual income of 30K. Or if you are a foreigner, you will need to have an annual income of 42K a year. While this card has a $194 annual fee, it's not an issue at all because if you use the card regularly, you can just call them to waive off the fees. While most of us think of the City Rewards card as a mouse card, in reality, it's actually a points card where you get to earn up to 10 thank you points for up to $1,000 monthly spend when you spend on eligible transactions. We can then choose to convert the points to either 4 miles per dollar or 2.27% cashback. There are also options to convert the points into vouchers, like a $50 Howie Norman voucher or a two days one night stay at some Atas hotel. But overall, the points are still worth the most when converted to miles. The good thing about Citibank is that it has one of the most amount of transfer partners that you can choose from. Though, you will need to transfer in 25,000 point blocks. Each transfer costs $27 and the points can't be pulled with other Citibank cards. Moving on, the City Rewards point system is a little weird. That's because the points will expire 5 years from the card approval date, not when you have earned the points. For example, I got this card in early 2023, and whatever points I've accumulated from now till 5 years later, all of them will expire in April 2028. So you need to be super careful about this. Set a calendar reminder if you need to. Otherwise, you might forget about these points and accidentally let them expire. Then after the 5-year period ends, a new 5-year period will begin and you will start earning points all over again. Quick pause. With Tiger Brokers Tiger Wards, you are now able to earn interest on your idle cash. To use it, tap on Profile, Tiger Wards. Then tap on the fund that you want, then tap subscribe. My personal favorite fund would have to be the Fullerton SGD Cash Fund Class A, which is giving around 3.8% yield now. That's because it's investing in stuff such as short-term bonds and fixed deposits, all of which are very low risk. And here's the good news. Tiger Brokers have just recently upgraded the sign-up promotion, where if you sign up now and fund your account with 1,500 SGD, Hold it for 7 days while completing 5 buy trades, you will earn a 3 day 20% yield coupon, 40 US dollars worth of Apple fractional shares, and one free stock worth up to $285, and an exclusive 30 USD Tesla fractional shares for my viewers. So, if you are interested, you can sign up using my link down below. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Next, as mentioned earlier, the City Rewards card rewards 10 thank you points or 4 miles per dollar on qualifying spends. This includes all online spends except for mobile wallet and travel related transactions. For travel related transactions, stuff like airlines, car renters, hotels, cruises are all excluded from earning rewards. Even restaurants that's inside of a hotel are also excluded. So don't anyhow use this card to pay for your wedding banquet. Later, you don't earn any points then you know. So to pay for this travel related category, you will need to use another card like the HSBC Revolution card or the DBS Women's World card, which will give 4 miles per dollar. Then, what about Simply Go transactions for public transports? Unfortunately, it's also excluded. So, you will need to use another card like the Standard Chartered Smart card, which will give 6% cashback. And just in case you're wondering, the City Rewards card also excludes all the usual credit card exclusions like education fee, insurance payments, and cash wallet top-ups. Next, mobile wallet transactions are also excluded from earning rewards. This part is a little confusing, but let me explain. If you add a card into Grab app or the Deliveroo app and make payments directly through the credit card, you will earn rewards. But if you make in-app payments through Google Pay or Apple Pay, you won't earn any rewards. 
So if you are making in-app payments, you need to make sure that you are paying directly using the card without going through Google Pay or Apple Pay. Besides awarding points for online payments, the City Rewards card also awards points for offline shopping at places like departmental stores, clothing stores, and shoe stores. Though, this time, you will still earn points even if you add the card to Google Pay or Apple Pay. Moving on, introducing the Instagram Amaze card. When you link your City Rewards card to the Amaze card, then pay as per normal, you bypass two restrictions. The first one is that City Rewards only rewards online spends restriction. But when you spend via the Amaze card, it will convert all offline spend into online spend while keeping the same merchant category code. So if you use the Amaze card and pay at restaurants, do it. Your payment is an online spend now and will qualify for four miles per dollar instead. Or if you buy groceries at NTUC fair price, it is also an online spend and will also earn four miles per dollar. Besides that, the Amaze card will convert all your foreign transactions into SGD transactions. This is super good because if you were to normally use the City Rewards card to spend on foreign transactions, you get slapped with a 3.25% foreign conversion fee. But if you were to spend via the Amaze card, the foreign transaction will turn into an SGD transaction and you will avoid the 3.25% fee. Then on top of that, if you can spend at least $10 per transaction, the Amaze card will reward you with another 1% cashback for foreign transactions. Which means that you are now earning 4 miles per dollar from the City Rewards card plus 1% cashback from the Amaze card on your overseas spends. So that's the Instagram Amaze card. It's a must-have if you are planning to use the City Rewards card because it makes everything a lot simpler. Sign up link down below if you are interested, yeah? Though, let's hope that Citibank doesn't suddenly come and exclude the Amaze card like what DBS did a while back. Okay, here are 3 additional perks of the card. One, Citibank has something called City Pay All, where it lets you make payments on stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to earn points on, like taxes, insurance, rents, education fee, and condo management fee. When you use the City Rewards card with City Pay All, you will now earn 2.2 miles per dollar. Though the catch is that you need to spend at least $8,000 by 20th August in order to qualify. This may sound like a lot but it's actually quite doable because if you pay for your insurance payments, tax payments, your family's insurance and tax payments, education fee, you will be able to easily hit $8,000. As a bonus, if you are new to City Pay All, you will earn a $50 Grab gift voucher. Second, this is not related to City Bank, but it's still a perk. If you pay for City Bank credit card bills through HSBC Everyday Global Accounts via Gyro, you will earn an additional 1% cashback. Okay, here's how this works. Every month, deposit at least $2,000 into the account. Take note, uh, just the transferring action will do. So even if you transfer in, transfer back out, you will still qualify for this criteria. Though, just make sure that you maintain a $2,000 average daily balance. Otherwise, there will be a $5 fee. Finally, perform 5 eligible transactions to earn the 1% cashback. The eligible transaction can be your credit card spend, debit card spend, gyro bill payments, and even a fund transfer to a non-HSBC account. So that's how you can earn a 1% cashback by paying for your City Rewards card bill. Last but not least, sign up rewards. If you sign up to City Rewards card using my link down below and spend $500 within 30 days, you will get a free Nintendo Switch or a free Dyson vacuum or a $400 capital voucher or a $300 cash. So as you can see, with its low requirements and super generous rewards, the City Rewards card is definitely one of the essential cards to have. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, you find it useful. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.